Hey guys, today we are in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we are standing in front of Flapjacks, just another name for a pancake here in the South. Flapjacks started in 2001 when they opened up their first restaurant in Gatlinburg. Today there are six of them here in Sevier County and one in South Carolina. We have never been to any of them before. So we're gonna take you in here and show you around and order a couple things off the menu. And you can decide whether you wanna come here. So are you ready, Bobby? Ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Flapjacks is easy to find here in Pigeon Forge. It's right on the parkway, directly across the street from the entrance to the island in the Margaritaville Island Inn. You cannot miss this one. Big parking lot. They are open from 8 o'clock until 1 o'clock. Let's head in. Look at Flapjack's Pancake Cabin's menu here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, made from scratch. Starting off with for the table, shareables the whole table can enjoy. The things with the pancakes beside it are their favorites. Some fritters, candied bacon twist, Elkmont egg platters. All platters come with a choice of hash browns or two pancakes. Three choices to choose from. From the griddle at the top, you can see the toppings you can add to your cakes. It's $1.99 each. Multi-grain or gluten-sensitive pancakes are also available. They're famous for their sticky bun pancakes. Strawberries and cream, there's a picture of that. Buttermilk, chocolate chip, chicken and waffles, and waffle breakfast. And here's a picture of the waffle breakfast. Look at the skillets. All skillets are served with two pancakes or you can substitute hash brown casserole for $2.49. Walker's Cabin skillet. There's one with ham in it, corned beef hash. Townsend's skillet. There's the Walker Cabin's skillet in that picture. Flapjack's feast. Add hash browns to any meal for $2.19. All entrees are served with hash brown casserole, biscuits and gravy and two pancakes. This is what I'm gonna get. There's the Barn Buster. I'm gonna get the Wonderland. It is $16.79. The fried chicken. There's the omelets. Bobby's gonna get one of those. All omelets come with a choice of hash browns or two pancakes. There's a meat lovers, a veggie western or the works omelet. A list of the beverages and the kids menu. Food came pretty quick, and I did an upcharge of $3.49 to try out these sticky bun pancakes that they're famous for. The Wonderland Flapjack Feast. There's Bobby's omelet, the Works omelet, and pancakes. So let's start off with Bobby's, the Works omelet. It is sausage, tomatoes, mushrooms, ham, onions, and cheese. She could have got hash browns, but she got the pancakes. I know she's anxious to try this. It almost looks good, doesn't it? Mm, it does. Pretty good size. Mm -hmm. This is one of their specialties, too. I see a tomato in there. It is. See oh, that is hot. That? Yeah. I might take a smaller bite than that. <laughs> Let's just try it.
I love mushrooms. This is why I decided to get this one. I was going to get one that was just the vegetables, but I thought I would try the ham and the sausage. Very good omelet. It's hot. I like all the toppings they put on here. They gave me plenty. It's a fluffy omelet. Cheese, tomatoes, sausage, ham, and onions, mushrooms. Everything you like. Mm -hmm. Let's take one more look inside that, in this angle. Yeah, they got a lot of toppings yeah. in there. And a lot of cheese, I like omelet. that. Mm -hmm. Try their famous pancakes. Should have got some toppings on there, Bobby. This one if I'm playing today. Now before you try these pancakes, let's talk about them a second. Back in 2003, Southern Living named this as the South's best flavor. They chose their pecan pancakes. I told you about those, you thought Just about them. them. And in 2013, Delish.com voted them the best pancakes in the state. Look at that. So by looks, they look pretty good. I got two fluffy pancakes that came off the griddle golden brown. Those are almost enough to share, one each. And yeah, we could have the, shared the omelet and the pancakes. We could have. I'm glad I went with just the traditional pancakes. Sometimes I just like that instead of all the toppings because I like the flavor of the pancakes. Like I said, they're very fluffy. Um, I got some coffee to go with it because you have to have coffee with pancakes. You're happy with what you got then. All right, guys, let's get into this. Let's just go over this one again. This is the Wonderland. It has three eggs. I had them scrambled. Two strips of bacon, a sausage patty, and a jumbo link sausage. Now, I added $1.99 to put the toppings on this pancake. And this is the sticky bun pancake which is cinnamon swirled pancakes blended with pecans and topped with cream cheese icing. I can tell you right now, there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat all that, but it still looks good. And there's sausage gravy, a biscuit, and hash brown casserole. So that is a feast. I guess that's why they call it that. Let's start off with the eggs, three eggs. There's a mound of them there. Had them scrambled, just went basic. Hard to describe eggs, they're either good or they're bad. It's hard to mess them up, but these are pretty good. They have a slight buttery flavor to them, light and fluffy, so I do enjoy those. Well, what should I try next? Try the biscuits and gravy. Okay, well, that's a pretty good size biscuit. A little crispy on the outside, we'll see if it's light and fluffy in the inside, and some sausage gravy. That looks pretty good, it looks thick. All right, let me tear this open. Let's take a look, there's the inside of it. Crumbled a little bit when I popped it open. Let's just get some of it and dip it down in this gravy. Let's try it, let's dip it down. Look at that, that is thick. See some small pieces of sausage in there? One good sign, it is not runny. Now the sausage gravy doesn't have a lot of spice to it, it's just mainly creamy. And the biscuit is soft on the inside, but yet still crumbles. Crispy on the outside like a biscuit should be. I do like this gravy but doesn't have a lot of spice to it. But again, still good. Let's try this jumbo sausage link. That's a pretty good size piece of sausage. Jumbo sausage link. Let's cut it in half. I might let Bobby try this sausage patty. I know she likes those. There's the inside of it. Yeah, I like the patties better than the links. I don't know why, I just do. You gotta have that little crunch from that casing on the outside of these links. Now this has some spice to it compared to the gravy, which the gravy really shouldn't have a lot of spice to it. It's just the right amount of spice. It's a little more than a mile, but that's how I like it. And I got that little crunch from that casing. It's prepared well. I'm gonna try the hash brown casserole. Look at all that cheese on there. Cannot go wrong with plenty of cheese on this. This is very cheesy and has a great potato flavor. There's the side look in there. It's a pretty big mound, look at that. A lot of stuff here to fill you up. Now let's just try a piece of this bacon. 
The bacon's not prepared overly crispy, but it has a great flavor. I know some people like bacon really crisp, and some people like it prepared like this. Most people probably like it prepared like this, but it has that good smoky flavor to it. And there's two pieces. I'm gonna have Bobby try this piece of sausage, then I'll try these pancakes. I keep telling Bobby sausage links are the better way to go, but she keeps telling me sausage patties. Yeah, I like the patties better. I think because it gets crispy around the outside of the sausage patty. They're just my favorite, I don't know why very good it has a mild flavor to it i think you need to try the patty and the link and see which one you like better all right i guess i'll try it and let you know right now i just like the crispy edges around this where when you get a link it's not that crispy edges you got that casey note maybe it's the casey note i don't care for my sausage challenge for today moment of truth it's funny how those two have a completely different flavor but I like the link, especially here, because it's got a little more spice to it than the regular patty. But that patty's done well. It does have that crispy outside on it. Still going with the sausage link. Let us know in the comments if you think there's a big difference between the sausage links and patties. Which one you like the best? Now let's try these pancakes. Look at all that cream cheese icing. You can see the pecans in there. Those are cinnamon swirled. You can see the cinnamon going around. Man, Bobby, you should have went with the topping. Look at that, even on that inside, there's some cinnamon swirling around those. This is the way to go. Real sweet for breakfast. Cut it here so I can get everything. Got that cinnamon swirl going around there, some cream cheese, and some pecans. I'm gonna get a little extra. Get some extra of that cream cheese. That might be too big of a bite, but I'll try it. You can do it. You're getting a lot of different flavors in there. You're getting a little crunchiness from those pecans. The pancakes are prepared well, as Bobby was saying earlier. They're light, fluffy, getting some cinnamon flavor, and I love that, but that cream cheese is coming through. That cream cheese icing's kind of tangy, mm -hmm. so it just blends everything in well. That's the way to go, and that's one of their favorites if you just want to come in and get these. And well, I tried a little bit of the cream cheese topping, and it's not an overly sweet pancake like I thought it would be. Either. It's not overly sweet. It's almost more like with that tanginess of that mm -hmm. cream cheese. The cream cheese is not overly sweet, like I'm just saying. But you didn't try everything. You didn't try this cinnamon swirl in here. I didn't. I just tried the cream cheese topping. That was very good. It's all good. It's probably a little bit sweeter with the cinnamon It's a cinnamon little sweeter, stuff. but it's not overly sweet. It's not so sweet, guys, that you couldn't stand to eat it. But it is very good. I can see why this is one of their specialties. Take a look at our receipt, starting off with Bobby's Coffee for $3.29. Works Omelet, $11.99. She got two buttermilk pancakes with that. The Wonderland Feast for $16.79. Now, I upgraded to make those pancakes the Sticky Bun Pancakes. That cost three fifty. If you just wanted fruit on there, it was a dollar ninety nine. But that came with a bunch of toppings. That's why it was three fifty. We had a five dollar off coupon out of a local coupon book. So the grand total was thirty three eighty five. Talked earlier about saving five dollars. Here are those coupon books we're talking about. They're all over town. There's different ones that have different ones in them. So pick them up. Great place to get them is in front of the old mill. They have them all. We just left Flapjacks here on the parkway in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. What did you think about it? I think we could have ordered just one meal and shared it, especially yours. Oh, my meal had enough for three people. We knew that going in, but we wanted to show you guys a couple different items. So what'd you think about yours? I got the Works Omelette. That's one of their specialties. It came with sausage, ham, onions, tomatoes, mushrooms, and cheese. It was very good, but you got two pancakes with that those mm -hmm. are buttermilk pancakes they're very light and fluffy those are probably my favorite that's a lot of food for us to eat in the morning because we're not big breakfast eaters if we ever eat here for breakfast again i would definitely get the buttermilk pancakes two sausage patties not the links mm. and a coffee we had great service thanks deanne for taking care of us we wouldn't have to get you that we could just order that big platter that we didn't get the thing that i got if we wanted to upgrade to the bigger one, I think it came with ham and another egg. So you could definitely split that and you could have the sausage patty and the pancakes out of that. Or you could just come in here and get pancakes. The pancakes mm -hmm. would fill you up. They're very good. I enjoyed everything that I had in here. My favorite 
and I'm not a big pancake eater, were those sticky bun pancakes. They weren't overly sweet, but they were sweet enough with that cream cheese and the pecans on there. Bobby touched on how well the pancakes were. I think they were very good. They were light and fluffy. Everything was prepared well. I enjoyed that sausage gravy too. There wasn't a lot of sausage in there. Didn't need a lot of sausage in there because you got sausage and bacon with it. And another thing I really enjoyed was that hash brown casserole with all that cheese. If you're a cheese lover, you're gonna love that. And the atmosphere, what did you think about that? It was like being in a log cabin. I like the fireplace in the middle when you first come in, mm -hmm. it was really pretty. It was pretty. And the pictures and everything going around it. So it's a great place to go. I mean, you're gonna find these places because there's six of them just mm -hmm. here in Sevier County. I'm glad we came in. The last advice, and we've said it earlier, is maybe split one of those meals. I don't think most people can eat one of those meals by themselves. I think they had a couple smaller meals. Mm -hmm, they did. The pancakes, I think, come with nothing. You have to add on to that. But if you're not a pancake lover and your wife or fa other family members are, get one of those platters. You could order some extra bacon. You don't have to buy everything. And get these sausage links over the sausage patty, Bobby. Especially if you like a little Patties. spicier because the, the sausage link was spicier than the patty. And bring that $5 off coupon book. That's $5 off 25 Hey, you're on a trip. Mm -hmm. Might as well save some money so you can spend it on other things. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the building. <laughs>